It's gonna be awesome. And so the Sun, we know, has made it to the final, or made it to the playoffs okay. several years in a row now, made it to the finals last year. What's it gonna take for them, Brendan, to take it home? Whew. Well, it's a different looking team this year, right? They made some moves in the off season. They still have a really strong core, though, right. inside. Mm -hmm. Brianna Jones, Alyssa Thomas, two all-stars. They retained both of those players. Dewana Bonner, special player at the guard position. They brought in Tiffany Hayes, who played her college ball at UConn, has dealt with some injuries, but if yeah. she stays healthy, she gives them a dynamic guard. I think she's underrated. Mm. I think people were not are not talking about her as much as they need to be because she is She's, she's healthy. She hopes. Which and is very important, obviously. <laughs> you could argue before her injuries, the best two-way guard going in the WNBA. Mm -hmm. So 10 years in Atlanta, maybe mm -hmm. time for a change because Atlanta's going young and adds to a, a veteran win-ready team, as you guys talk. Yeah, and one yeah. of the biggest changes that were made in the offseason, Kurt Miller, who had been with this mm -hmm. team for the last few seasons, now they hire Stephanie White as a head coach. Obviously, we talk about them losing some big players as well. But who do you think are going to be some of the underrated players this season? And what do you just expect to see overall with this team? Yeah, I, so Stephanie White's done a really good job, I think, coming in. A, a player's coach, without question, has a pedigree already coaching at at Indiana, uh, at the, with the Indiana Fever previously, but look out for a breakout year, I think, from Natisha Heideman, mm. who had played a lot of point guard last year for the Sun, and was really, when you look back on it now, tossed into the fire with a lot of veteran players. She was just in her fourth season, has a great three-point percentage. Stephanie said they had their preseason game on Wednesday earlier this week, and one of the things she pointed out was, we're going to try and use Natisha off the ball and allow her to be the sharpshooter she's capable of being as opposed to just being a primary ball handler. They brought in Ty Harris as well, part of that John Quell Jones trade. Beck Allen, healthy, another sharpshooter. So I think we're going to see a lot of inside-outside basketball mm -hmm. and players like Heideman, Dijon A. Carrington, who is a great college player at Baylor and Stanford, mm -hmm. Beck Allen, they're going to have some sharpshooters on the outside. So inside, outside, I think, is the dynamic you're going to see a lot of this year. I love that. Right. And I love that Stephanie has the perspective of a player, a coach, like what, ha an analyst, like what hasn't she mm. done? Coach. <laughs> well, from our standpoint, we were like, oh, she's a TV person. Yes. Yeah. So she, it won't be hard no, having time. the question. That's right. That's right. I love that. I love that. And finally, I mean, you, you're in the arena there. You know what it's like to, to experience the games. Mm. They have the best home record. Is that because they're just comfortable, or do you think the fans have something to do with it? Well, well, the fans are great, and <laughs> they've won 80% of their home games in the last five years. They had, Wild. The, they had the bubble season, of course, but since they've been at home their last five years, they've won 80% of their home games. Mm -hmm. It's not the easiest place to get to it, it, for right. a visiting player. But the energy of Mohegan Sun is unreal. I went yeah. to a game last season. It, yeah. the, the fans are consistent, even though it's in a casino. Yeah. People make a point to show out, which is a big deal. Even though it's in a casino or because it's in a casino? Both. You know? <laughs> Why not both? Go both ways. Just ask the Vegas Aces. They like having their, their game right. in the casino, too. So, exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, look, and the fans are great. Stores down the road has set a great uh, environment for college basketball mm -hmm. in the state of Connecticut. The, the UConn men just winning the national title. There's a yeah. great momentum. And there's some, of course, the obvious one is great players have come through UConn. But also in this league, Connecticut has set a standard to be a contender and no matter what sport you're talking if you prioritize trying to win and put a great product on the floor people will give you an opportunity and uh, you're right like folks uh, along the sideline pregame they are super into it mm -hmm. super interactive their energy is fantastic and I think they just want to see this team finally bring home their first championship. Well, we're a few hours I, away here in Boston, so we're going to definitely I make was, a point. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> I won't, like, share my prediction, but, like, I'd like to see that, too. Okay. <laughs> Sounds right, like you have a hot take. Well, hey, hot take. Hey, being the favorite the last couple of years, they might be being slept on a little bit. You talked about Hayes being slept good. on as a player. I think so. That might be what they need. They're, they're bought in. They're bought in. I mm -hmm. was with them on media day earlier this week. So, uh, Brendan, thanks for being here. And we're looking forward to catching up with you throughout the season.